What's good, YouTube? It's Aiden here. Um, just wanted to make the video I was trying to make last week, but um, I decided to make it through Windows Movie Maker, so this should not be something I have to do a million times. <laughs> um, real quick, I'm wearing my awesome Hakuna Matata shirt. Um, my mom found it. Uh, I don't know where, but like, she found this shirt, and it was like a girl's shirt, so she just got like a big size, and then I cut it all up. Um, not the best at cutting t-shirts, as you can see. It's not completely even. But whatever. I think it looks cool. Um, took me a little bit of courage to wear it to the gym because it's kind of revealing. But I said fuck it and I wore it and I was happy about it. So that was cool. A uh, little accomplishment. But so I wanted to make this video last week. I did it like three times. I'm kind of annoyed about it. But um, at least it's all fresh in my brain now. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Um, one downside is that this video might do that a few times. It might, like, get, like, this, uh, 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 I apologize, but, uh, some, for some reason my Windows Movie Maker does this, so, hopefully I will be getting a new computer soon, and, uh, we could change all that. I will be getting a new computer soon. So, fundraising. Um, fundraising, I get questions about fundraising all of the time, um, I get people that ask if they could put their fundraising stuff on my wall, um, if I could like their status, or put in a YouTube video, stuff like that. Um, I usually don't ever really put it in a YouTube video. I just don't really, um, it's hard for me to like make a list type thing. So I always tell people to put it on my wall. Um, and then I'll like it or something, or people will comment on it. It gets a lot of attention that way if you spread it on people's walls. But don't be rude about it. Like, ask them, nine times out of ten, Actually, 10 times out of 10, usually, uh, 9.5 times out of 10, um, if you ask to put something on my wall, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to look at it, and if I like it, I'll say yes. Um, but, uh, you know, don't don't go, like, spamming people's walls, because that's just inappropriate and rude, and people are going to want to actually not donate to you just because you do silly things like that, and it's just a little obnoxious, you know? Um, so, yeah, ask people if you could put uh, your fundraising information on their walls. But, point of this video. Fundraising, um, there's a few th tips I want to give you guys, okay? The first tip I'm going to give you is kind of like an equation I kind of made over the last 12 videos of this video I tried to make. Um, so pretty much big time, little money equals big results, all right? So meaning if you put a lot of time and effort into whatever you're doing your fundraising for, you spend as little money as possible on your fundraising, you'll get the biggest reward at the end. Um, you kind of have to have a little bit of money to make money. Um, even if it's something simple like, uh, you know, you want to make, you know, that that one guy, um, I don't like to see pe say people's names because I don't know who's stealth and who's not. So if you guys know who he is, awesome. If not, there was a trans guy out there who was making bracelets out of old t-shirts that he didn't fit in anymore. Um, I mean, it obviously costs a couple of dollars to buy some scissors or stuff like that, you know what I mean? Maybe if he ran out of shirts, he had to buy a few more cheap shirts at, like, the, um, Goodwill or whatever. But, um, he sold the, t the bracelets for $3 each. That's it. So you can imagine to make $6,000 how many, t how many, uh, little bracelets you had to make. Okay, so he spent s tons of time making bracelets. Like, I've almost possibly no money um, you know, on the bracelet, and he got the biggest result, which was all of his money for surgery. Um, so do things that take a lot of your own personal time, not a lot of money, because you don't have a lot of money, right? That's why you're fundraising, will give you the biggest results, okay? So that's my first tip. My second tip would be to do things that are easy to you, things that are, that come to you. If you're a musician, um, host concerts, hosts, um, you know, open mic nights, if you're a drag king or drag queen, have a drag show, um, if you work at a bar, try to get your bar to do, like, one special night where if you have a drink special, whoever buys a drink special, you get, you know, 75% of whatever that drink special is, um, if you skateboard or ride a bike or do any extreme sports, try to get an event together, get your friends together, um, to do some type of show, you know what I mean, um, do things that come easy to you. All right, and expect to have to do it more than once. Um, 
nobody really hosts a fundraiser and gets all the thousands of dollars they need for surgery in one night, okay? Try to plan like a year, a year plan. I know it's a very long time, but unless, you know, if anything, if you plan a year, if anything, hopefully you'll get it before your year's up. So have a year, you know, and, you know, like I said, if you're a drag king or queen, right, ask all your drag kings and queen friends that perform, um, you know, find a bar that you go to or you perform at and talk to them about your surgery. Get them on your side to want to help you, okay? And explain to them that they can help you without actually having to reach into their own pockets. You know what I mean? Um, but just by hosting it alone and promoting it is is their, you know, help to you. Um, ask your, your friends that are performing, listen, you know, this, you know, um, you know, maybe that you could do a 50, 50 thing. Listen, if you make a hundred dollars, you know, you donate a hundred dollars to me, I'll give you, you know, you keep the other hundred dollars, stuff like that. Um, and if they're your real friends, they'll do stuff like this. If they're your real friends, they'll put a little effort in, um, to, you know, help you out. I know my friends really wanted to help me out, but I didn't have, they didn't, you know, not everybody has a lot of money, you know, you can't just be throwing out hundreds everywhere, you know, um, so do something that's easy to you, um, like I said, if you play an instrument, find a bar that will host an open mic, do one in your backyard, you know what I mean, charge three dollars to get in, okay, have a, um, have like uh, three dollars to get in, open bar for the first hour, and then after that you charge, you know, it's four bucks a drink. You're still making money. I'm telling you, even if you charge only four dollars a drink, you'll still make money based on the money you had. Um, and and another way you could do that, you know, if you do something like that, you could have your friends donate alcohol. You know what I mean? If you're too young to drink, have a have all your friends like do a a competition of some sort, relay races, or you know, it's 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 you really, I feel like people have to focus more on the small amount rather than the big amount. Everyone always sees that they need $6,000 for surgery and they just think, how the hell am I going to get $6,000? And they have all these thoughts and maybe someone will just hand me $6,000 or somebody will hand me $500. doesn't usually work that way. People need, um, people need a few things to donate. One, they need something in return. Nine times out of 10, people don't like to donate unless they're getting something back. Okay. Oh yeah, breast cancer. Cool. I'll buy this can opener that's pink because they know that you know they're still getting a can opener, which they they were gonna get. Period. Um, and now they feel even better because now it's like, oh well, I bought this can can opener, but some of the money went to breast cancer. You know what I mean? People really like to know where their money's going. They don't like to think that it's just going into some corporation and straight into their pocket. You know what I mean? Um, so let people know what the money's for, what it's about. Um, and give them something in return, even if it's something small, $3 for a bracelet. You know what I mean? People just like to know where their money's going, but they also are kind of selfish with their money and they like to get something in return. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, lots of effort, the least amount of money you can spend will give you the biggest results because you get to keep all that money. Okay. Do something where it's easy. It comes natural to you, okay? Also, um, do things that you can give back to the people that are giving money to you, whatever it may be, whether it's, you know, um, free food at a party or, um, you know, like I said, an open bar at a, for an hour or something, um, you know, even just, even if you don't have any food or you're doing a bar or something, have cupcakes, just free cupcakes, you know what I mean? Um, Stuff like that. You know, if they had to pay to get in and you get to keep the money, you could do free cupcakes. You could have bake sales. Um, just remember, you know, the, the third thing or the fourth thing would be just remember you you might have to do it a couple of times. You might have to have four bake sales. You might have to have six bake sales. You might have to have three um, shows like uh, drag king queen shows. Um, you know, you might need to do it a couple of times and space them out, you know, so that's why I said a year's a good time, because if you have a party, you can wait two or three months, have another party, theme it something else, and then, you know, you can wait another three months and have another party, theme it something else, you know, to get the same people that already came to want to go, and to get them to tell their friends to come to, you know what I mean? Um, so those are some, some good tips that I could give you guys for fundraising. Not everything works for everybody. That's why I said to do something that comes natural to you. Do something that's easy because that's going to make your time, the, the big amount of time you spend, it's going to make it more fun. It's going to make it just less stressful because you already know what you're getting self, yourself into. Um, 
And then last but not least, if you don't have anything like that, if you're not really, you know, um, a musician, you don't really go out to bars, you kind of just, you know, lay low with a couple of your friends, hang out, bonfires type of thing, um, get a second job. Um, I mean, I know that sucks, but if you think about it, you got a job that pays nine, ten dollars an hour, you work ten hours a week, that's a hundred bucks a week. All right, four hundred bucks a month just for an extra ten hours. I mean, that could be one long day or two short days. You know what I mean? Um four hundred bucks in a month, that's crazy. You'll have a bunch you'll have you know, good amount of money after a year. I mean, you depending on what surgeon you go to and how much the pricing is and if you're able to save anything extra if you're able to have a second job maybe have one or two events throughout the year where you make a couple extra hundred dollars you know that works too awesome you know um or if you know um you could get all your old clothes that you probably don't fit into anymore you don't wear anymore you can go to uh like around here there's like plato's closet there's there's like goodwill store type things that will buy your clothes for a low price you won't get a lot of money but they'll buy your clothes and your shoes and jewelry stuff like that you get extra couple of bucks here and there um another thing if you have one of those parties you can ask people if they don't have money if they have clothes to donate and then you could try to go sell those clothes you know what i mean so um you know fundraising is really hard but you really have to think about the best way because you can't just have a party and not promote it and just promote it through Facebook and expect everyone to show up and then expect everyone to give you all their money because they just, because they showed up, they must want to give you money. That's not always the case either. They're probably there to just party. So now you have to have an incentive to make them give you money, whether it's those cupcakes or that specialty drink or, you know, um, $10 to get in but open bar for the first hour type of thing. You know what I mean? Those are the type of things that are going to get people to get to your event. Um, and like I said, if you don't have a lot of, you know, if you're in a community, you don't really have all that access, um, get another job. I know it sucks. And I know, well, oh, I always have money to say off. Where's my weekends going to go? Your weekend will be there in a year when you save money. And now you'll enjoy your weekend more because now you'll be able to get ready and you won't be able to have to bind or do any of that crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you need to sacrifice um, time and effort now so that later on in life you can really enjoy your time and use less effort to, to enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? When you work really hard, it takes effort to just relax. You know what I mean? And when you don't have all this stuff thinking above your head, then you're able to relax better without as much effort. Um, so yeah, that's my advice. Those are my tips on fundraising. I wish everybody tons and tons of success on their fundraising things. Again, just remember, lots of time, little bit of money, big reward. Just think that. Easy, 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 easy. All right, guys. That's it. Good luck. Peace.